Hello dear students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about area of a sector. Already you have done area of plane figures, rectangle, square, parallelogram, triangle, trapezium and circle. These figures are familiar to you. You must know the equations and how to apply this equation also very important. In this chapter, particularly, we are going to discuss about area of a sector of a circle. If we consider a complete circle, the area is given as pi r square. That is given by this equation. And semicircle, half circle is given half of pi r square. And quarter circle, one fourth of pi r square. And this equation can be represent using this decrease that means if it is a total circle at the center it makes 360 degree so 360 divided by 360 that is 1 so a equals pi r square similarly in this semicircle at the center it makes 180 degrees out of 360 that is half similarly in quarter circle at the center 90 degrees it makes therefore 90 divided by 360 one fourth of pi r square now if you consider a sector at the center it makes theta the angle and r the radius then we can represent or we can give the area using this equation area equals instead of 90, 80 or 360, whatever the degree it makes at the center, here it makes theta, therefore theta divided by 360 into pi r square. This is the equation for a sector. This equation you must remember to find the areas of sector. This is in that questions you will have to use this equation to find the areas. Okay, now we'll start with that examples. First example says, there's a diagram, you have to find the area of the shaded region. If you analyze this diagram, there are three semicircles that is marked as one, two, three. What you have to do, you have to find, first of all, the largest one, number one, the semicircle, then you can subtract number three from there. And separately, you can find the area of number two, the semicircle. And if you add with that, you can get the area of the shaded region. That is the process. Now you can try yourself. Now I'll show you how to do this example. Area of the shaded part we can do like this. Area A equals. Area of semicircle 1 minus semicircle 3. Then you can find this area and if you add this part then you have to add plus semicircle number 2. That means from this larger semicircle we are subtracting this portion and we are adding this portion. So semicircle number 1 half pi into r square. Here for this largest semicircle, radius is 14 minus this semicircle 3 half into pi into 7 square plus half into again this portion pi into again 7 square. 7 because the diameter is 14 so for the small semicircle radius is 7. Now if you consider these two parts these two are equal but this is minus and this is positive so these two cancel so final answer we can get 22 upon 7 into 14 into 14. This part becomes 0 because these two are equal minus and positive plus. So these two you can 
simplify 2 and this one also you can simplify. Finally, we are left with 22 into 14. Then finally, we are getting 308 centimeter square. Now we'll try example number 2. This diagram shows there are three semicircles. Number 1, 2, 3. Number 1 is the largest one with a radius of 7 cm. If we can find the area of 2 and 3 and subtract from the semicircle number 1, you can get the shaded region. That is what the answer we needed. So you can try yourself. Example number 2. Here they have given a larger semicircle number 1 and they have subtracted number 2 and number 3, smaller two semicircles. But these two are equal semicircles. So you can consider as one circle, one complete circle you can consider or simply you can subtract twice also. Now the area you can find in this manner. First, the area of 1. Area of 1 minus area of 2 that means semicircle 2 and semicircle 3. So, semicircle 1, the larger one, half pi into radius is 7. So, 7 square means twice we have to write minus again half into pi into the diameter is here 7, therefore radius means half. So 7 by 2 into 7 by 2. Now I am going to multiply this portion by 2 because these two semicircles are equal in area because 7 the diameter, again this one also 7, therefore I can simply multiply by 2. I am going to simplify this. Again, half into 22 upon 7 into 7, 7 into 7 minus this 2 into this half into 22 upon 7 into 7 by 2 again 7 by 2. Now we can simplify. These two sevens we can cut off and 2 and 22 becomes 11. Again, 7 and 7 cut off. 2 and 2 we can simplify. Again, these 2 and 22 we can simplify. Now, finally, we left with this 11 into 7 minus here 11 in turn by 2. So here I will write the final answer. 77 minus 77 upon 2. So final answer 77 upon 2 centimeter square. Example number 3. This is very simple example. The diagram shows a rectangle and a semicircle. If you subtract the semicircle from the rectangle, you can get the shaded region. That is what the simple answer you can get it. So you can try yourself. Number one indicates the total rectangle. Number two indicates the semicircle. So the area becomes area of rectangle. That is number one. You have to subtract the area of number two, the semicircle. So area of the rectangle 42 into 21 minus area of the semicircle half into pi into r square. r square means here totally the diameter is 20, 42. Half of that 22 is 21 into 21. So we can simplify this. 2 and 22, 11 and 7 and 21 becomes 3. So if you solve this one, if you multiply 882 minus 693. So the final answer 
In this example, we have to find the area of the path. You can read the question. To find that, simply we have to follow several steps. First of all, you can try yourself. Then I'll show you how to solve this example. Here, this is a flower bed. And this indicates the path. So the width of this path is given as 7 meters. The straight line or the straight path is 50 and the curved or semicircular curved that is 28 meters and if you add both sides the 7 here 7 and again another 7 here you are getting totally 42 meters. Then these 1 and 2 simply 2 rectangles you can easily find the area. To find this portion only the number 3 only that means this area only. To find this area, what you have to do, you have to find the area of the larger semicircle with 42 meters the diameter and you can subtract the smaller fourth one that means smaller semicircle with diameter 28. Then you can find the area of this portion. Similarly, we have this side also. Then once you find this area, you can multiply by 2, then you can get both sides of this. Ah, now I am going to work out this example. Area equal, first I am going to find the number 1 and 2. Number 1 and 2 I have to add. That means 2 rectangles. These 2 rectangles equals 50 into 7. Again 50 into 7. This is 350 plus 350. That is 700 meter square. Make it A1. Now I am going to find the arc, this number 3, that means this portion. To find that area of shaded area, number 3, simply we have to subtract semicircle. You have to find the area of semicircle number 3, the larger one. And you have to subtract semicircle number 4. The larger semicircle simply half into pi 22 by 7 into 42 the diameter therefore radius 21 and 21 minus semicircle number 4 half into 22 upon 7 into 28 means half of that value 14 and 14 so you can simplify this area this part if you simplify here 7 and 21 becomes 3 times, 2 and 21 becomes 11, and again, again 11, and 2. So, this is the second step. So, once you simplify this, you are getting 693 for this part. That means 33 into 21, minus here 22 into 14, you are getting 308. So, this value finally you are getting 385 meter square. Here, I have to multiply by these two because 385 only this portion. So, we have similar again here. Therefore, final area equals A1 that means 700 plus twice we have to find. Twice we have to add that means a1 700 meter square plus 2 times 385 this 2 because of both sides we have this path so final answer 700 plus if you multiply by 2 you are getting 770 so finally we are getting 1470 meter square this is what the area of this path.